Hey guys, this is Versatile from Game Dexterity, and in today's tutorial, it is a crash course in showing you how to use DOSBox, primarily how to install games. Say you had an old uh, MS DOS game on a CD ROM, how you can install it and play it using DOSBox. Also, you can use DOSBox to run like MS DOS type games you download off the internet that no longer work in Windows XP or. 7 or Windows Vista or whatever. So you can use DOSBox and run all those MS-DOS games because honestly those games are better than current day games, right? So in today's example I have this old school Warcraft 2 Tides of Darkness uh, MS-DOS game. If I try to install it in Windows 7 notice what will happen. Basically it won't let me and it errors out. So what I can do is use the DOSBox program. So let me show you the manual way of installing the game and then I'll show you some a neat tricks at the end of this video tutorial. So first of all we need to mount my physical CD-ROM drive. So how do I do that? So you type in mount and then um, give the letter of the virtual drive. So this is going to be D and then J is my currently CD-ROM drive dash T space CD-ROM. This is just syntax. You can read the readme file if you want to learn more about this. Now we need to mount a virtual hard drive. So I do this. Mount C and then my uh, game directory is actually on my E drive and I have it called old games. So you have no idea what I'm talking about. If I go to my computer here and if I go to my E drive, notice that I have this directory called old games and that's where I'm going to have all my MS DOS type games. So now we go to my D drive and now I'm going to say setup because that's a setup file for my Warcraft 2 directory game. And now notice that yes, I can install my game when originally I could not install it in Windows 7 here. So DOSBox is a free program. If you go to the more info section, there is a link there for you to, to find the website and download it. So now I just press OK. I already tested it so I, because I know the sound works. And now if I just type in War 2, notice that the game will run. And I can play in the window. If I press Alt Enter, the game will go full screen and um, you know it's just good times. Now DOSBox does have uh, network capabilities so technically you could hold on a second <laughs> like I was saying DOSBox does have uh, networking capabilities IPX serial uh, no modem so yes you could play games with your friends I have done a test running serial games over the internet using DOSBox. It's sort of intricate, but if you really want to know about it, let me know, and I might think about making a tutorial. So you can see that's a lot of manual work here. Um, if I back out a little bit, CD slash, and I type in directory, the only directory I have right now is the Warcraft 2 folder. If I install more games in my old games folder, then you will see more of these games. You can run all those uh, games there. So now let me show you a cool trick um, making like direct shortcuts to your game. So, for example, if I double click on this DOSBox shortcut, guess what's going to happen? It's going to instantly launch my Warcraft 2 game, and I don't have to mess around typing in all those commands anymore. So, you're probably interested in how I did that, right? So, let me show you the secret. The first thing you want to do is get the original DOSBox configuration file. If you go into DOSBox here and go to configuration, go to edit and just do file, save as and then go ahead and save it wherever you want to be. So what I ended up doing in my case was I saved the file of it in old games and I renamed it to war2.conf. If I double click on it and if I scroll all the way down you need to go to the auto executable section. So here is my syntax, for example. I said, hey, look, mount my D drive, uh, the virtual D drive as my J drive, mount my E folder as my C drive, and then navigate and type in War 2. Actually, yeah, that is correct. Because after I mount this, I want to go to the C drive, and then I want to go and type in the Warcraft War2.exe, and then the game runs. So we click on File, Save here. And then if you go back to the shortcut, you right click the shortcut and go to properties, right? And then this is where the magic happens. So the first part of this target is the C drive. This is where the program is originally installed. After you do that, here's the new syntax. So you do dash C O N F space, and then you want to put in quotation the game path to the uh, special con C O N F configuration file 
for the game. So like for my example is war two dot uh, c on f, and then space, and then in another set of quotations, the game path to the actual game executable. So here you see is e slash old games war two war two dot x. You press OK. So now when I double click on this. I will instantly launch my game and then you can make as many shortcuts as you want as as you go along and install more games to your computer there. So that is uh, DOSBox in a nutshell. Um, if you have any questions by all means go ahead and leave a comment here on the YouTube page and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Once again thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.